Hello, hi. Um, well, you're joining me on lockdown, and I was a bit bored, so I, I got inspired to do um, a recreation of um, this fellow photographer, um, and I'll put the link below to her name. Uh, she's a child portrait photographer and she's done some amazing work and it's inspired me to have a go and try and recreate this image uh, which I'll show you now. <laughs> This is the image that um, I want to try and create. Now, I haven't exactly got all the colours um, that she has. In fact, I made up some of my own. Uh, this is my mirror because unfortunately I've got to do me. I haven't got a model, so where am I? Oh! Yeah, and here's what I got. I got. Yes, you guessed it, tomato sauce, and all these are powder paints, and I have some yellow, oops, some yellow water-based paint here. So I'm going to be doing my own sort of makeup and giving it a go. Um, I'm using my Canon D700, which is all set up here, excuse the mess. I am on lockdown, so I'm using uh, this more or less deflector uh, as my black background. I've got my strobe light here, and obviously my camera here. And the settings I'm using are... Oops. Okay. My settings are using manual setting, 1800ths of a second, f8, ISO of 100. Two second timer um, on a single shot, and I'm going to be doing it live view using autofocus. So when I'm actually doing my shot, I'm going to be sat here facing the camera. So I get to take and see exactly what I'm doing to try and get this pose. Right, so I've got three different size brushes and I've changed my top, showed a bit of skin because that's what she's doing, showing a bit of skin. So add to the look so I haven't got blue unfortunately so I'm gonna have to that's men I haven't got a clue with makeup so yeah well some men you know so I'm gonna try and mix it I'm gonna right if I start off with the palest of the colors which in this case is like mustardy sort of yellow and well cut <laughs> very powdery as powder paint is I haven't got a clue really what I'm doing but just gotta fill in the cracks I think if I use this as a base coat no oh, I'm getting a mess if I use this as a base coat should be really using a bigger brush, but I think I'll change that. I'll go with that one. Okay. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. I don't want to mix the colours. Is this how you women do it? Because I haven't got a clue. Mm -mm. I do know I gotta have a shower after all this. <laughs> Chuck. 
chalk on it now. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, nearly had some in the eyeball then. Oh, Into the receding hairline. Oh, it's not really seen that much because it's been like a few years. <laughs> Honest. Yeah, it should do my ears, because at the moment they're glowing red. <laughs> wow. Okay, do my neckline. Okay. Okay, it's not showed up much. I just look like a mill. Okay. <coughs> Powder. Okay, right. Let's try a bit of green. I've opened the other window for you. Oh, sorry, it's my cat. Right, let's try a bit of green. So, right, she's got green on her hands. I don't know how I'm going to do my hands, but I'm wondering whether I should wet this to make it look. I could try a bit, couldn't I? I wonder. Am I supposed to be wet in powder paint? Oh yeah, actually, a bit of water is good. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, right. So what I'll do is I'll use water. She's got like stripes going down here. God, it's a messy job. So there's something to do on lockdown. I hope you're all keeping safe. And Staying healthy. Could have it like an army effect, couldn't it? Especially when I mix it with the other colours. Right. Wash that green off. Okay, I'm going to try a bit of a uh, pink now. There you go. So, yeah, I just do the same there. Looks like some of these chucked. Some fruit at my face. <laughs> superheroes and stuff like that and I used to really enjoy doing the outlines in red um, like uh, over shadows and everything I used to like colouring giving shadows and it would, it would enhance or it would emphasise the muscles and their arms and the movement in their bodies. No. So. 
always always been into a bit, a bit of creating something. But uh, yeah, even if it is a mess. <laughs> okay, um, let's try to red. Thing is, I am limited on the colours that I got. I could do with some black. Can't believe I'm actually going to put tomato puree on my head, but uh, no, it smells nice anyway. <laughs> yeah, a bit of red. No. <laughs> I'm gonna need a shower after this. Ugh. Just blob it on. <laughs> Was way more than a dream. We climb up, get over the hillside. So right, we stood there all wide eyed. You and I floating on air in my mind. My mind. It's nowhere near as good as what this lady has done. But like I said, What else am I gonna do? Living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. I can just get a bit of red in here, make it smell. Oh, I'm standing on the dizzying high. Oh, I'm standing on the dizzying high. Just tidied up now. And um, had a quick shower and I downloaded all photos into um, I downloaded them all into Studio 16, Adobe Studio 16. I'll just show you what I'm doing at the moment. I was I thought I was recording me actually taking the photos and. Um, Show, demonstrating on how I, I take the photos of myself in the seats but it didn't record and um, I haven't got any of that footage to show you but I've shown you uh, what settings I use on the camera and hopefully um, it wouldn't have spoiled it for you so um, we'll just carry on Right, I'm using Studio Adobe Studio 16. Um, so in order to transfer my image into something like that, big difference. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. My power is gonna go now. So first of all, I sharpen everything up. Okay, by moving clarity, check my contrast. I have it dark, I quite like the skin tone there, so I'm going to keep it like that. And just move the blacks in there. Okay, shadows, I don't want to brighten them, and darken them, darken the shadows. My exposure is okay. Saturation, I can highlight a little bit. Emphasize the color. I'm going to do the yellow as well. There we go. Okay. Press apply. 
So something else which I do is I go into clone stamp, okay, and make it larger. Oops. Okay. It's just telling me I gotta use the C T R L button to lock it down and then click to confirm and it pulls away. This will stay there unless I align it, but I'm not gonna align it because I need the black. And what I'm just gonna do is to clear away any light objects, any of the amber lights. Okay, so it's pitch black. Okay. So as I said, there's many ways of doing this. But uh, I prefer this way. So, I'm just getting rid of any light patches using the clone stamp and boom. Okay, I have cropped this again. And I think it looks better. Okay. I've also um, lightened it up a bit more. making it a better image. Okay. These are the other two images which I put into the video. Um, I'm not very happy with them, but I thought I'd show them because like, it's always good to see people's mistakes as well. So here I think I've cropped it too short on the bottom. There's not enough light in there. I'm looking very orangey. Yeah, I'm not, I don't like this image. Um. Is it? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't want that image. Sadly, with this image, it was all blurred. It came out blurred because, like, I, I made the movement of blowing the actual dust out of my hand. It uh, it all went out of focus. This is a downside to not having somebody model for you. Um, so if anybody's got any um, suggestions on the way I can do this to make it clear um, and a focused image, so it would be great. And if you can comment down below, it'd be great. It would help me out and help others as well. So I'd appreciate any comments. Thank you. <laughs> you've enjoyed this video blog and um, yeah I had a laugh and got some ideas uh, as well so I'll leave you with the picture that I was trying to create um, which is 10 times better than I could do um, here I think she's used strobe lighting I haven't got a strobe uh, like I said I only used um, I only used the flash gun and um, didn't get the same sort of lighting as she did. So um, that's probably one of the reasons why her picture's a lot better than mine. Yeah. But, but it's all trial and error, and I've learned from my mistakes. And hopefully next time I'll be able to do a better job. But um, I'll leave you with my final image, which has been edited now, as you've seen. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's not fantastic, you know, but I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, well, let me know all your thoughts. Um, give us a thumbs up. 
uh, press subscribe and hit the notification bell to hear of more up and coming videos. Um, bye for now.